I think, I think females in general today have a lot of societal pressure on them and they're throwing a lot of subliminal messages daily. You can sh go to the grocery store and you'll see magazines with celebrities who are crash dieting and images on TV of, you know, thin individuals that are borderline healthy, un unhealthy. And I think for one of my roles is to educate our students on, on that piece. There, there's very limited positive research that says you can just exercise and uh, you know see the, the body composition improvements that you might be looking at. You have to try. There's no way to not to lose weight without trying and then like it also kind of upsets me that like people think that's even possible. For soccer we have practice every day of the week for two hours. I try to work out at least five to six days a week, whether that's cardio or just doing something like weightlifting or body weight, something like that. What you eat is as important as when you eat. So the timing of, of your nutrients as well as the type of nutrients you put into your body matters. You know, getting the majority of your calories in the early part of the day and then tapering off as you go on. So. You, what ends up happening is people try to do the reverse effect and by the end of the day, they may binge. I eat a lot of little things throughout the day instead of eating a lot of big meals. I don't really pay attention to what I eat. I kind of just eat whatever I want throughout the day and I snack a lot. <laughs> so with my body type, I can't eat anything that I want. So. It's just the way I've been brought up where I definitely watch the intakes of everything, whether it's my carbs or protein and stuff like that. I try to make sure I have a grain and a protein and a vegetable every night. I think one of the biggest misconceptions about people trying to get fit or be healthy is that they have to eat less to do so or they have to work out more and that's really not helping your body whatsoever. You really need the right nutrients um, and you really need to be eating right so that you can fuel yourself to work out and perform to like, your best of your ability. Metabolism is essentially like a fire. If you put little logs on a, on, a, on a campfire, it'll continue to burn. If you don't put anything on it or you put too much on it, it essentially smothers it. Your metabolism works very much the same way. It's more of the nutrition that you're taking in, how many times you're working out, your heart rate, your blood pressure. It's more than aesthetics and it's more than what you see in the magazines and what you see on TV. There's so much of a focus on like losing weight and like this perfect image of every single person that I'm sure that like the person on that page is a skinny little motto who like nothing against being skinny in her right but everyone isn't supposed to look like that and saying that like you have to lose 10 pounds like a lot of people don't have that 10 pounds to lose and by saying that like it's almost saying that you need to lose weight and that like it doesn't take effort. Losing weight isn't something that happens overnight it's a, it's a process and like I've gone through it myself and like there are times where you have highs and lows and you just have to work through them because you will get the end result if you just keep working hard. Educate them on what healthy looks like and being athletic looks like. You know, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a challenge for them. It's not about the size and it's not about the number, it's about being comfortable in your own skin and like finding clothes that like make you feel comfortable and like what you want to wear. So it's more about like having that self-confidence and not necessarily comparing like what you look like in an outfit compared to what your friend looks like, but just having that self-confidence, like wear what you want to wear, like be who you want to be. And like you might be work doing the same exact workout as someone else, but that doesn't mean you're going to look like them because your body type's different. know yourself and your body and like what your body needs so like what you need to work out and what workouts work for you. Most people think people are healthy because they're skinny but just because you're skinny doesn't necessarily mean that you're healthy. Healthy goes from all different sizes it's just how your body's made up. Everyone's body's different so you shouldn't have to like read a magazine or something to be like oh I have to lose weight so I can fit in this frame of like what society wants me to look like. You don't have to fit in a size zero, obviously, I, I don't. Um, 
I mean, if you feel like you need to lose weight to be healthier, keep trying. And if you're just doing it because everybody else says you should, then stop. There's no point for that. I mean, I'm not a size zero and I work out every day. Being strong is empowering. Being athletic is empowering. Educate them on those things. <laughs>